Well, the take-home message is that the larger the difference between the theoretical and the experimental lattice energies, the more covalent character the lattice has. So let's unpack that lattice, if you will, a little bit and try and explain it. If you look at the group 1 metal chlorides here, you can see that lithium chloride has the biggest percentage difference between the theoretical and the experimental values, which means it has the most covalent character, and therefore the least ionic character, of this group of chemicals. Cesium chloride has the smallest difference between theoretical and experimental, which means it has the most ionic character and the least covalent character. Let's try and explain that in terms of electronegativity difference, or EN difference. The bigger the difference in electronegativity, the more likely an electron is to transfer between the elements. A big electronegativity difference means that one really loves electrons and one really hates electrons. And so the electron will transfer and that's ionic. A smaller difference in electronegativity means they're more likely to share, which is covalent. So cesium chloride is the most ionic because the difference between the electronegativity of cesium and chlorine is the biggest. And so the electron's more likely to transfer. Another way to think of it is a positive ion with a high charge density is more likely to pull the electrons from the negative ion over towards itself in this kind of pear shape. And then there'll be some overlap between the electrons in the orbitals for both ions and electronic overlap. Well, that's covalent, isn't it? 